This video is closed captioned. Indonesia is the largest island country on earth. It's made up of more than 17,000 islands and offers endless opportunities to explore and bask in the beautiful collection of land masses. Visiting a different island each day would require nearly 50 years to see them all. So, Indonesia will always leave you wanting more. White sand beaches, snorkeling, volcanic lakes, epic wildlife, and world-renowned cuisine are just a few reasons to add Indonesia to your bucket list. Today, we'll show you 10 amazing things to see while you're in Indonesia to start your hopefully long journey of discovering this magical country. Without further ado, let's dive in. Number 10. Komodo National Park Komodo National Park covers 29 islands. The three most prominent in the park are Komodo, Padar, and Rinka. The park was established to protect the Komodo dragon, but has since expanded to protect all the indigenous land and marine life. The Komodo dragon is the world's largest lizard, growing up to 10 feet in length. Approximately 2,500 Komodo dragons call the series of islands home, along with other indigenous flora and fauna. While visiting this park, you'll see hills peppered with rocky outcroppings in a generally dry climate with little rainfall for most of the year. The marine life, in contrast, is full of color, as it is part of the Asia-Pacific Coral Triangle. Take time to hike to the high point on Potter Island for an incredible view. Crescent-shaped beaches will be spread out before you, making for a great photo opportunity. Visiting the smaller island of Kalong will offer the unique opportunity to see thousands of giant flying fox bats. The noise these winged creatures make when moving as one is unforgettable. Number 9. Tana Taraja Located on Sulawesi Island, this cultural gem has some of the most unique cultural practices in the world. Taraja culture centers around the afterlife and death and is displayed during the elaborate funeral ceremonies that occur after death. Tana Taraja is surrounded by limestone karsts that jut out from the landscape in a dramatic fashion. Graves embedded in limestone cliffs are among the most famous attractions when visiting the island. Although, keep in mind that these aren't just tourist attractions, they are actual grave sites that should be treated with respect with viewing. Traditional housing called Tongkonen makes for fantastic photographs with their harshly sloped roof lines. And if you'd instead get a view from higher up, Take the two-hour hike to the peak of Ganun Sasan for a beautiful sunrise on the lush terraced rice farming at the base of the mountain. Number 8. Yogyakarta Home to some of Indonesia's most important archaeological sites. Orabudur and Prambanan, Yogyakarta is genuinely representative of Indonesia's culture. It's also the only province in the country still ruled by a sultan. Most will visit this area to see Borobudur Temple, located about two hours northwest of the city. It's the largest Buddhist structure in the world and is nestled among beautiful mountain scenery. Rugged Jeep tours can take you to see Marapi Volcano. It's the most active volcano in Indonesia, with regularly documented eruptions since 1548. The last major explosion occurred in October 2010 and resulted in the death of more than 350 people. More than 350,000 were forced to flee, and the most dangerous parts of the eruption spanned four days. Several small eruptions have occurred since the beginning of 2020, and volcanoologists keep a close eye on this active giant. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey worldwide by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. Number 7. Bromo Tengger Samiro National Park We suggest Bromo Tengger Samiro National Park if the mountains are calling you. A landscape of sand is punctuated by four relatively young volcanic cones, Batok, Kursi, Wontongan, and White Oderen. The park is named after two other mountains, Mount Samiro and Bromo, as well as the local inhabitants, the Tengger people. Samiro and Bromo are both active volcanoes, with Samiro erupting every half hour or so, letting out clouds of steam, smoke, and ash. On the other hand, Bromo is known for its large crater that constantly seeps sulfurous smoke. Nature isn't the only thing on display, with Hindu temples dotting the landscape, as well as the quaint villages of Nagadas that sits on the slopes of Mount Bromo. Number 6. Raha Ampat Islands Raha Ampat is made up of nearly 1,500 islands in an archipelago and its vibrant biodiversity. It's a small pocket of paradise. Its rugged islands have kept it relatively untouched. Still, it's quickly being discovered as a beautiful place to visit 
if you're willing to participate in elaborate island hopping to get there. Snorkeling is terrific here. Colors, shapes, and textures will assault your senses as you explore the underwater world of Raha Ampat. Several world-famous dive sites are ready to explore if you're a diver. This area is still developing in terms of tourism, so there may not be as many options for fancy hotels. A great alternative is using a homestay offered by locals on the islands. You'll get a one-of-a-kind authentic experience of local life and be treated to great hospitality from some of the 50,000 residents in the archipelago. Number 5. Diang Plateau this marshy plateau sits more than 8,000 feet above sea level and is home to some of the oldest Hindu temples in Hava. The temples themselves are a small portion of once was. You can see eight temples, but there used to be more than 400 in the area. Linked by raised walkways to avoid walking through the marshy landscape, you can also see evidence of ancient tunnels that drain the flatlands. Two parallel lakes provide beautiful vistas and the unique addition of sulfur deposits along the shore that burble to the surface. The annual cultural festival features a traditional lantern release, puppet show, performances, fireworks, and artwork. Number 4. Way Rebo Village As far as traditional villages go in Indonesia, Way Rebo is one of the most famous. Seven traditional houses with conical roofs stand in stark opposition to the lush green mountain landscape surrounding the village. These homes have stood for 19 generations of inhabitants and about 1,200 people called Way Rebo Home. The cone-shaped homes are made up of five levels each. The base level holds the main living quarters. The following three stories are used to store various foods and goods, with the top level reserved as a sacred place to give offerings to ancestors. Farming, weaving, and tourism are the primary industries of this village, and a coffee garden offers delicious coffee varieties that can be sampled. Number 3. Bali Bali is likely one of the first places to come to mind when thinking of Indonesia. And while the sprawling beaches and glittering surf are great reasons to visit, it's only part of the charm of Bali. The center of Bali is known for its terraced rice fields and yoga retreats in Ubud. The high-end resorts are mainly situated on Bali's southern coast in the Seminyak region and are perfect for relaxation. And if hiking or trekking is of more interest, check out Munduk, an often overlooked mountain village that opens up to a world of waterfalls, lakes, and hills. Number 2. Tanjun Puding National Park In order to access this park, you'll need to hop on a river cruise that will take you to the land of Borneo orangutans. The wooden boats that carry you into this untouched landscape are called Klodok and provide a relaxing way to enjoy the scenery. They operate as your floating hotel as you navigate to various orangutan feeding stations along the river. Wildlife abounds, including freshwater crocodiles, hornbill birds, proboscis, and gibbon monkeys. If you're able to take part in a night walk, you might see giant tarantulas, loudly singing frogs, or even the rare tarsier. Number 1. Lombok Lombok lies east of Bali and is far less frequented by tourists, and that's what is perhaps most appealing. It offers many beautiful vistas, without the crowds you might expect in some more popular destinations. Lombok is predominantly Muslim, so you'll see plenty of beautifully adorned mosques throughout Lombok, and if you're a foodie, experiencing the local markets is a must. Full of vibrant and spicy chiles and local tropical fruits such as durian, mangosteen, snake fruit, rose apples, tamarind, rambutan, and star fruit. It's home to Indonesia's second highest volcano, Mount Rinjani, and a multi-day guided tour to the top will afford trekkers with views of Crater Lake. The Pusek Monkey Forest has countless monkeys that traverse the jungle and venture into nearby streets. That concludes our list for today. What is your favorite place to visit in Indonesia that didn't make our list? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave us with a like and make sure you subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss an upload from us. Who knows? We might cover your dream vacation next. Until next time.